you heard about Mrs. Greville? A century ago, she was the society hostess who gave the parties that everyone wanted to be seen at. Her events were the talk of the celebrity press, everything from the royal guests right down to the kind of tablecloth she used. But there are some things about Mrs. Greville these cuttings don't tell us. But if they'd done some digging about Ur Maggi, oh, what a story they'd have found. Because the woman who owned all this and turned it into the society playground of the 20th century was the illegitimate daughter of a Scottish boarding house keeper and a brewer. The Edwardian era was the heyday of the weekend house party and despite her humble origins, Maggie found she was a natural. Royalty and politicians relished the chance to get away from town, to drink cocktails, shoot pheasants and, perhaps, indulge some other appetites. Polston Lacey was the perfect place for Maggie to establish her society credentials. Less than 20 miles from London, but nestling within the beautiful Surrey Hills, Polston offered her everything she needed to direct every detail of her weekend house parties. Grand plans were drawn up for the gardens, and she transformed the house with lavish decor and all the comforts of the grandest hotels. In fact, she hired the designers of the Ritz to oversee the project. I want a room fit to entertain Maharajas in, she told them. And she got it too. And then there were the lavish parties, the vicious gossip, the royal guests and their lovers who came to party the weekends away. So how did Maggie Greville pull off such a stunning real-life Cinderella story? Come to Polsden Lacey and discover for yourself. <laughs>